In this video, first we're going to be talking about your options for fixing your MacBook speaker if it sounds broken, cracked, or whatever that sounds like. And second, we're going to be exploring and testing this $10 um, MacBook replacement speaker and see if it sounds good and see if it's reliable. So let's jump right into it. my hands-on experience, my initial impressions, and my realizations in hopes of helping you know about it. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Earl and I make videos about tech, reviews, tutorials, and more. Three years ago, I made a video about a DIY fix on speakers of a MacBook or any MacBook for that matter. And that video racked up a lot of views and comments and I realized that unfortunately that problem is widespread now the speaker that i fixed on that video just gave up on me after a few years so the glue fix that i shared in that video was great because it actually fixed the problem for a long time in my case for three years and it's very cheap but this time around i wanted to try an experiment replacing it with a new replacement speaker but not the original apple ones because one it's expensive and two judging from the number of people having the problem this problem now maybe the replacement speakers will just break after a while now the cost of having this fixed from an Apple authorized uh, repair center costs around like $50 for the just the speaker replacement plus labor. So it, it's quite expensive for for, the, for that small part. Another non-DIY option would be to go to a local non-Apple authorized but legit repair centers because they offer these services for much cheaper. But how much cheaper that depends on where you are. But at least here in the Philippines, there I noticed there are a lot of like legit service centers offering Apple repair services for cheaper, like almost even half than what it would cost um, having it repaired in an authorized service center. I'm sharing the non-DIY options first because I realized that the easy fix that I shared three years ago wasn't actually easy for everyone because some MacBooks require you to disassemble almost the entire laptop just to get access to the speaker. But yeah, since like I like fixing stuff and the speakers on the 2015 Retina MacBook Pro is easily accessible and replaceable, we're gonna try and explore replacing the speaker. Now for the speaker itself, the, the part replacement itself, three years ago, the cheapest I can find is $25, even for Chinese OEM replacement parts. But now I can easily find it for five and $10. I noticed in Amazon US, there isn't any five or $10 options for the speaker replacement. Most, if not all, what I found there was $25 which by the way have a huge feeling are the same stuff that you can find on AliExpress, just rebranded. Um, but you know, that's that's just my gut feel. I, I don't have any facts to back that up. Now a tip on buying these replacement parts, if you can find one in your country that is reasonably priced, you can go to AliExpress.com. There you can find a lot of options for five or $10. Uh, just make sure to get the one that is for your MacBook. And for how long it takes to ship, it depends on where you are. Uh, if you're in Europe or US, probably three to four weeks, but if you're in Asia, one or two weeks sounds about right. Another tip on looking for replacement parts for your MacBook, make sure to indicate your model number. For the 13 inch 2015 Retina MacBook Pro, it's A1502. I'll put on the description a link to the Apple site where you can see the model number for your particular laptop. So I'll go ahead and install it and test it. Now, I won't go into the details and how to disassemble this particular MacBook because this problem isn't unique to one model. Instead, I highly recommend for you to go to ifixit.com and look for guides specific to your MacBook there. I find that guides on ifixit.com are better than videos because uh, each step is listed and each tool and screw and the details are all listed there with photographs. So yeah, go to ifixit.com if you need guidance on how to disassemble your MacBook.
so I'm done installing the speakers. Let's go ahead and boot up the machine and see if it um, works well and how does it sound and I hope it's not broken. I hope. <laughs> So that means more than 10 hours per day. And my intentions for this video would be to share my hands-on experience, my initial impressions, and my realizations in hopes of helping you know about the things that might not be obvious at first. And All right, I think I have a conclusion now. So yeah, uh, the speaker works, it functions, but the sound quality isn't the same, isn't near as the original ones. Um, Loudness-wise, it gets around 70 80% of the loudness of the original one but actually to be honest I'm don't, I don't feel confident maxing this out so I I will probably just um, set it to like three bars below the maximum because you know to avoid breaking it again and second the sound quality first of all bass isn't there um, it isn't as deep as the original speakers and um, the clarity also isn't as clear as the original speakers. I, I guess um, really the bottom line is we got what we paid for. I don't know if the expensive ones sound better or maybe they're all just the same OEM Chinese replacement parts. But yeah, if you get the Apple original ones, then maybe it sounds better. But in terms of durability, that is also not guaranteed because even the original ones on this MacBook, they failed. So yeah. Um, for durability, well, only time can tell. I will definitely update you guys. And yes, yeah, so you've seen the test on watching typical YouTube videos with vocals and talking head. The speaker um, replicates the voice well. Uh, you can understand it. Uh, it's clear enough, but nowhere as clear and as high quality as the original ones. So I guess, yeah, we really got what we paid for. But yeah, it's just $10 um, if your previous speakers are at the point of no return like you can't fix it with the glue trick well then this is also a considerable option but uh, if you're one of those with like um 15 inch macbooks that requires you to disassemble the entire laptop to replace speakers then you might as well go for the original ones but yeah that's it for this exploration on the 10 dollar replacement speaker and uh i hope you guys learned something from this video hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button so others can easily find this video if you loved it subscribe for more and follow me on instagram that's it thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one